It's recording. Hey, Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, you know, every great masterpiece starts with a thumbnail sketch or a stick figure. A stick figure gives you a skeleton on which you can do a drawing of any kind of person in any country, time in history that you like. A simple stick figure is really quite easy to draw, but to add a bit of action, a bit of movement, a bit of foreshortening, takes a bit more practice. And one way you can do that is by getting a photograph and sort of analysing it and maybe even drawing on top of it and working out how the skeleton works. And in no time at all, you'll find you'll be able to draw your own action skeletons out of the top of your head so that you can proceed to draw your own masterpieces. But let's not talk about it. Let's do it. So here we have a photograph of the Australian champion, Rod Laver. It's a nice old photograph, so it's Wikipedia Commons, so I can use this. And I'm just going to start sort of drawing in these various shapes that we got. And actually, let's have a little look at this, sort of what's going on here with the face. Now, there's a shoulder point and there's a shoulder point. And I'm just going to kind of slightly curve that around. So the neck is kind of hidden in there. And then this is going to come down to an elbow, to a wrist, and then a hand. And this here is coming down to an elbow, and then to a wrist, and then a hand. And let's draw that racket, good old fashioned wooden racket. So we've got a hip point there and a hip point there, which should kind of join across like that. And then this is going to be kind of slightly twisted around like that a bit. This is coming forward. And that's coming forward as well. But look, this it seems much, much longer. And this is because this knee is coming forwards towards you. And so it's foreshortened, whereas this is coming straight down. And you're seeing the full length of that thigh down to the knee. Whereas now we're going back down to the ankle. And that is really foreshortened going backwards. Whereas here, this is a really long... Uh, calf and down to ankle because that is straight on to us and then here we have a shoe at the bottom and here we have a shoe at the bottom down there if we take the photograph away you can see we, we got a stick figure and it's a bit different to what you would imagine because this head is really tucked down over the shoulders so I'll fade that down a little bit and print it so here is the printout and let's see if we can sketch this a bit. So we've got the head and the eyes. So the head is pretty vertical and the eyes are on that level with mm -mm, and a very determined nose, determined mouth and the ear about there. So we've got sort of hair roughly something like that. Mm -hmm. And then we got the shoulders that are coming down around the back like that. So he's really leaning in and we'll bring that arm down there and then across. And then the hand is sort of a bit like that. And then the other hand, you can see the thumb and the bits there. So this is actually sort of going back a little bit and then coming down. And we want a bit of a curve to the spine and then so the body's twisted, but the hips are face on. And we've got this leg coming straight down to the knee. And it's it's pretty much, I, I would say this calf is actually slightly longer. So if that's the knee, so we'll have that coming down slightly longer. And then we want a kind of a triangle down there for the foot. And then this here, look, this knee is lower than that one because it's, it's more face on. So this knee is pointing forwards towards us. So this section here is slightly foreshortened. This is much more straight onto us. So this is less foreshortened. This is straight onto us. And this is the long bone. So we're getting that great long bone, which wants to be lower than that knee. And then this is really foreshortened because the leg is right back like that. And then we're going to want to have the sort of foot there and we can have our good old fashioned <laughs> tennis racket in there like that. From there we can build the body up and you can see that sort of coming down around there. We got this tennis shirt sort of coming in around there and so we 
the sleeves are sort of around there. You can build this all up around the lines that you've created, which are the, the skeleton of the stick figure. So we can sort of bring that down there. And we'll want that to be about there. And then we'll want sort of sh shorts sort of coming in like that and, and like that. So we bring it into the knee and down to the knee there. And um, we'll sort of have a bit of a curve there. Socks. And these will be the shoes here like that. Let's sort of curve them around a bit there like that. Shoes like that. And let's put some bits in for the tennis racket. And let's have the shadow going back like that because that's the way it is on here. And we're going to have a bit of shadow underneath there, a bit of shadow up there. We'll have some lines as the shirt is kind of twisted around. These are folds. And there we have our tennis player built up from this basic stick figure skeleton. Well, let's take a quick break while you can catch up your drawing and I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> Welcome back. You know, we're not stuck with having to draw a tennis player. It's an action pose and you can turn that into anything you like. Let's see what we can do with this action pose. Now I am going to very quickly pencil in that same kind of thing again. Now we're not stuck with this just being a tennis player because we can do other things. This is an action pose. So we can use this as the basis of another uh, illustration if we want. And let's have a sort of a, a Cro-Magnon man <laughs> who's going to have a mm, big beard and long hair mm, like that. And he's probably going to have um, a goat skin kind of top on and then these are his muscles coming out here and there's the thumb and the grip and he's going to have a club because <laughs> he wants to go and bash things and so if you wanted to do a an, an illustration a drawing <laughs> Cro Magnon man <laughs> a caveman then uh, this is just the kind of exactly the same way to do it. And and we got that kind of, he's got sort of furry, furry <laughs> shoes on there. Um, they're just bits of, bits of goat skin tied around his ankles like that. And there we have our caveman going out to do battle with a mammoth. But let's draw another one. Let's see what else we can do. This will be like going through history. Now let's put a little band across there and up there and we'll have a helmet <laughs> and we'll have a, a medieval uh, <laughs> um, knight or 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 anywhere a knight would be on armor uh, on the horse really wouldn't they but anyway so we'll have something like that and and he's going to be holding an enormous sort of sword <laughs> like that with a little pommel at the end there and he'll have a belt about there and he's going to have his chainmail tunic down like that and then we can put sort of a funny sort of curled up sort of feet down there like that instead of armoured shoes um, like that and then we can put in all this sort of chainmail with a bit of cross hatching you might want a bit of shade there I put a bit of shade underneath there and definitely underneath there as well let's put let's put a bit of shade coming out from these in the same sort of way I'll admit I've rehearsed those ones a bit but I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm gonna completely bust this one because I feel, sort of feel I should do something a bit more modern and bring it all up to date so now you know modern day we're gonna have a sort of a SWAT team kind of guy <laughs> Um, he's going to have big shoulder pads there and he'll have elbow pads as well probably and he's um, uh, I'm going to think about that he's, yeah, let, so he's, yeah let's say he's carrying one of these great big things that you bash doors open with and so that would be the same there and he's holding that enforcers I think they're called and they're all kind of quite padded up aren't they like that and so he's going to have his great big knee pads and he'll have knee pads there and so I know this could also be a space marine or something like that couldn't it and they're going to be sort of great big chunky chunky boots 
like that. And But again, this goes back like that. And we've got the same kind of chunky boots, but there it's foreshortened like that. And we'll want that to be there as well, won't we? And he's probably got sort of utility belt on like Batman would have had. Police. Something like that. So this is sort of going through the ages. We're using dear old Rod Labour as a as a basic plan to work out these sketches for different sort of action poses. And as I say, I haven't rehearsed this. I haven't even looked up to see what a SWAT team uniform looks like. It's purely from memory. Uh, they've probably got lots of some belts and things all over them. I don't know. But it gives you an idea. So if you want to make a particular action drawing illustration, find a picture that is similar work out the stick figure skeleton and then build up your body on them and you can make the body big you can make them small petite fe male female whatever you like the more that you draw stick figures the more you get used to how the skeleton works and you've also got sort of foreshortening and everything going on but the more you do it the more you'll begin to understand what's going on and it'll just be so much easier for you then to do your own drawings out of your head so there you go, that's one stick figure action pose onto which we built all these other different bodies uh, you know, throughout the centuries and styles and all sorts of things. And you too can do this. Once you've got that skeleton, you can just build whatever you like on top of it. Well, thanks for watching and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing Channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.